at a couple of examples before you do your sheet. So, two things when we're identifying speech. First of all, we need to read the sentence and work out who is speaking, and then we need to work out what that person, that animal, that thing is saying. So let's read this sentence together. Please leave our tree alone, hissed the slithery snake. So have a think in your head, who is speaking in this sentence, and how are they speaking? Have they shouted, said, whispered, hissed? Have a little think. So, we know that it is the slithery snake that is speaking, and they have hissed. So, hissed the slithery snake is how and who is speaking. So, now that leaves our speech. Please leave our tree alone. And remember, when we use these speech marks or inverted commas, we need to hug those words. So, we need to have... Um, Speech marks at the start of the speech and speech marks at the end of the speech. So we need our speech marks before please, and then we need our speech marks after alone. And there is one more thing that we need to do. Can anyone remember what it is? We need our piece of punctuation before our, we close our speech marks. Now, nobody is shouting, it's not a question, so we're going to put a comma. So, please leave our tree alone, is what is being said, and it's being hissed by the slithery snake. Let's have another look. So, have a read of the sentence, and see if you can identify who is speaking, and how they are speaking, and what they are saying. So, if you chop down the tree, I will have nowhere to stalk my prey from, roared the spotty jaguar. So, first of all, in one colour, who is speaking and how are they speaking? Well done if you identified that the jaguar had roared. So, what's the jaguar saying? The jaguar is saying... If you chop down the tree, I will have nowhere to stalk my prey from. So we need our speech marks before if, and we need our speech marks after from. And what's the last thing I need to include to make it perfect? My punctuation before my praise, my speech marks. Is the jaguar asking a question? Is the jaguar shouting? In this sentence, I suppose the jaguar could be shouting. Or alternatively, you can have a comma. And we've got one more example. Now, have a look at this one. And Miss Johnson is trying to catch you out a little bit. So, remember, identify who is speaking and how or what they are saying. Well done if you've got... Let's read the sentence first. The tree of monkeys measured, we need this tree to sleep in, and we use its giant branches to swing from. So who is speaking in this sentence? The tree of monkeys, and that is at the beginning of the sentence. So the tree of monkeys measured. What are the monkeys saying? They're saying we need this tree to sleep in, and we use its giant branches to swing from. So I need my speech marks before we and my speech marks after from. And then we do need a piece of punctuation, but we don't need it here because we've already got one. In this one, because it tells you who is speaking at the beginning of the sentence, we need a comma just before our speech marks. Have a go at your own sentences now on your worksheet.